Onions have been in the news recently in India because the price has skyrocketed, actual words they used, from like 15 rupees to 60 rupees, which is the equivalent of like 15p to 60p for a kilogram. That's a lot of onions for 60p. In fact, I'm pretty sure that Tesco and Sainsbury's and all the shops around me do onions for more than 60p a kilogram. So I don't know what they're complaining about. This has actually made front page news in India which is crazy. What are onions doing on the front page of any newspaper? The weirdest thing is when you look at the history of price rises of onions in India, in 1980, it actually caused the government to be overthrown. Because Indira Gandhi marched through like the town square or whatever saying, any government who can't control the prices of onions doesn't deserve to govern. They're onions! In 1998, the price of onions like went up by like sixfold. And they said that that's the reason the government at the time didn't get re-elected. That's a high importance you're putting on onions there, India. Like, chill out on the onions. Until today, I never knew that onions had overthrown a government. Recently, they're also in the news, not front page, but better news. Three men pretended that the onion truck driver had caused an accident. So he stops, gets out of his vehicle, and he's like, what's going on, lads? When he's out of the vehicle, they hijack the vehicle. Imagine being an onion truck driver. You would never expect that to happen to you. If I was like a gold truck driver, I'd be constantly looking out for people hijacking it. If I was transporting onions into New Delhi, I definitely wouldn't be expecting people to hijack my vehicle. Anyway, one guy jumps behind the wheel, the others flee, hijacker speeds away, you know, truck driver calls the police and says, someone stole my onion truck. Please don't just go, all right, whatever, hang up, because obviously it's a real crime and real crimes happen. What they did do is barricade all the roads. Like, how important are onions to you? That you start barricading roads to stop this onion truck getting out of there. And so the guy saw all these like police barricades, stopped the onion truck, got out and fled, and then the police just went, onion truck's back, see you later. There's no end to this story. It doesn't say anywhere that men got arrested. There's just three men out there whose sole purpose in life is to steal more onions. And the police just apparently just let them go, just let them flee. And the onion truck driver just got on with his day. Got quite a hit from one of the policemen involved. He said, hijackers target loaded trucks to loot goods. But it's not usual to target food or vegetables. Yeah, no shit it's not usual. Who targets onions? That's mental. 